The Senator from Indiana. Here in a moment, I'm going to ask for unanimous consent on the ATF Accountability Act and the Protecting the Right to Keep and Bear Arms Act. Governor Cuomo has declared gun violence a public health emergency in New York. We want to do with gun violence what we just did with COVID, Governor Cuomo says. During the pandemic, Governor Cuomo and other elected officials used the public health emergency to infringe upon Americans' constitutional rights. They barred Americans from exercising their freedom of religion by closing churches. They infringed upon Americans' right to assemble by banning many gatherings. And now, gun control activist organizations are pressuring President Biden to, to declare gun violence as a public health emergency. Doing so would allow the administration to take executive action to hold up gun sales. Declaring a public health emergency should not give the executive branch the right to infringe upon our Second Amendment. This is why I introduced the Protecting the Right to Keep and Bear Arms Act to stop this. This bill would prevent the White House from declaring an emergency for the purpose of imposing gun control. I took an oath to represent Hoosiers and protect their Second Amendment rights. That is why I will oppose the nomination of David Chipman and why I will ask for unanimous consent to pass the ATF Accountability Act and the Protecting the Right to Keep and Bear Arms Act. Mr. President, as if in legislative session, I ask unanimous consent that the Judiciary Committee be discharged from further consideration of S. 1920, and the Senate proceed to its immediate consideration. Further, I ask unanimous consent that the bill be considered, read a third time and passed, and that the motion to reconsider be considered, made, and laid upon the table. Is there a